Guys, gals, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel. My name is, of course, Liquid Hotshot. I hope everyone is doing well today. This is our Millennium Dawn playthrough as Poland here. Uh, I hope everyone's doing well and enjoying their midweek. Um, like I say, I am currently uh, away from the computer. I am incapacitated. No, I'm not incapacitated, but I'm incognito i'm off the grid uh i am away on holiday as uh this video comes out but hoping everyone's um normal week by week schedule is going as planned in the last episode we unfortunately have now gone into a stag stagnated economy uh whilst our industry is still growing and we are getting now investment offers from the likes of Spain and Turkey. Uh, things things are hopefully heading back up on the upward keel. We did, in fact, decide to invest in uh, Vilnius, Vilnius or, and uh, here in Hungary. Uh, again, to bump up our investments to just over... 70 billion we make 0.1 billion a week now from from those which is great we are i believe though still investing uh back into that so no complaints at the moment we did get a comment from lexi it was in uh t the episode that i would that came out today on the 17th for me um because like i say i am recording in bulk today and it was in regards to let me have a look here it was in the gdp skyrockets episode uh have you hey have you been influencing slovakia after some time your influence will uh, naturally tick down uh so now you may not have a lot of influence so if we go and have a look in slovakia here we do we still are at about 20 uh 27 and a half percent in regards to that influence uh but we are going to continue or renew our ability to influence slovakia and what we will do as well is we will also begin to influence lithuania as well naturally these these countries we're taking kind of a an interest in um as like a an Eastern European uh, regional power. It's only right for us to do so. Um, so yeah, and just want to say thank you uh, to the likes of Lexi and, and everyone else who, you know, takes time out of the day to watch my videos and interact with them. I really do appreciate it. It makes me it makes me happy. It makes me proud that you guys are enjoying this this sort of content. European and Polish railways uh, are going to be done in just over ten days, uh, so that's great. That's a bit of a bit of money from from ourselves out of our treasury. But do not fret, ladies and gentlemen. We will have extra infrastructure in the North State here, uh, in this state here, and this state here, I believe. Well, Darcy, no. So it. Wait, what? Aha, so it's these. Oh no, here, here, and here. So I'm assuming like the focus itself isn't actually like hard locked on like a specific state. Um, because we do have, and we have been increasing infrastructure. We do have network infrastructure everywhere in regards to regular infrastructure. Um, we aren't at the top of everything, so we could invest into regular roads and stuff. The network infrastructure is more like, do you have the ability to connect to, to Wi-Fi? Do people have good signal in your area? Is there a good phone line? That sort of thing. And infrastructure infrastructure is, you know, how well is the land itself developed? So the good road networks um, and that sort of thing. So yeah, we are now influencing Slovakia and uh, Lithuania, both of which we have trade agreements with. The Ukraine, they did go down a while back. Uh, consolidation here. 
Now, if they were to go to the Baltic uh, Black Sea dialogue, it would basically give everyone between these two oceans like guarantees against one another. So there's no war, which is a really good like in-game thing. I don't know if that's a real life thing because obviously, unfortunately, Ukraine are, are under attack from Russia. Um, but speaking of Ukraine, we could try to influence them a little bit more. They they still don't want to uh, take economic aid, but maybe if we influence them as well, they may be taking a bit more of a liking to ourselves. So we'll do that. Maybe if we get them in the sphere, they may like us just that little bit more to be like, you know what? You know what? We will We will take some of your money. Now, monetarily wise, we are still kind of struggling. That's because of the stagnation, which is unfortunate. We no longer have like the additional uh, small businesses subsidies. Um, and if I pump up the tax rate, probably the GDP uh, per capita will go down. And we don't want that because we still are towards saving to get that extra and fifth research slot. But we may have to think about doing that at some point. Um, yeah, we'll take investment from Spain and Turkey. Obviously, that does cost us 10% of the structures, like, straight away. But, like, when the next monthly tick goes up, you'll see that we're, we'll already start to make money from those investments. Even though they haven't been built yet, if that makes any sense. Um... Just wondering when the next weekly tick is. Is it on the 16th? No, maybe the 17th? Let's see. Not yet. So, for the time being, let's go ahead and go down a national focus. Because we don't have that much money, I don't want to go down biofuel because it's going to cost us money. Uh, even though it'll give us synthetics, which is going to be great, we just don't have the we don't have the money. So let's go down. So if we get central bureau bureaucratic state, it's an extra hundred billion which we can afford. So let's improve civil uh, civil administration. I said it the wrong, like slightly incorrect the first time around. And in regards to influence, there's not a right lot of influence going on. I'm pretty sure that's because we're now part of the EU. Lithuania are good friends with Ukraine. We're good friends with Slovakia, Lithuania, who were obviously outside of the NATO. Um, and Slovakia being the country that is outside of the NATO, uh, outside of the EU, sorry, that's on our border. Czech Republic's doing a pure European campaign. It was a failure. And they just wasted money. I think as well, um, it may be wise to begin building some offices. I know we want to build some train tracks and a nuke, a uh, nuclear reactor. But offices, like we figured out, I believe in episode 13 give 200 million to us every single time so maybe that's that's worthwhile doing after obviously this network infrastructure but before we start building a reactor because that's going to take some time hmm. what we could do then is it seems as though as soon as we went to substantial, 
the economy began to stagnate, we could then just double back on ourselves to help boost the economy. But I don't think that's right by the Polish people, so we will we will continue providing uh, support when need be. If we wanted to force ourselves into stable growth, we'd need 161 billion, which I don't want to do. Which is a lot and a lot, a lot of money. Look at that, 40,000 GDP per capita now. Treaty of Lisbon. It's what I think it is. Actually, don't know what that's about. It was dismissed because who said no? Denmark said no. Okay, Denmark, you think you're better than us? It's outrageous behavior. Let's go for artillery specialists. There's no reason why not to. We got extra army XP. Is that going to be done? May it's going to be done 1st of June. Let's head up to 5 speed just for a little bit. Maybe until the end of May. Get some extra time under our belt. And that's going to be done middle of August. So you still got like two months to go. May, June, July. And then August. And f let's have a look here. We go back up to where Spain and Turkey are investing. They're investing in... States... Or territories, whatever you want to call them. Um, where other people haven't invested. So like Pomerelia. It's got a few sieves there from foreign investment. Welsh Polskia, and then over in Mazovia as well. Research-wise, we are obviously researching the O5 uh, anti-tank guided missiles. But that extra 2005 tech would be great. That way we don't have to focus on that again. And West Pomerelia, sure thing. Extra civilian factory for us. Sudan declared war on Sudan. Sudan declared war on South Sudan as well. Bad idea. Let's fucking go. Increase consumer confidence. One sieve finished, and there was like, you know what? We we wanna we wanna we wanna grow again. We don't want to just sit around saving money, not spending it. Let's go out and spend our hard-earned cash. Cash. Wonger. So that's good. Now we no longer have a 10% deficit on tax revenue. Uh, just going to decline that from now. And now we're back up to 1.6 billion. So the economy has bounced back. Lovely. I was a little bit, just a little bit worried there for a second. Oh, what's all this shit? Just go ahead and learn what a nuclear warhead is.
And then lovely, yeah, like, go down here, and then... Then by the time this focus is done, we should have enough money for the synthetics. It's 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 now on the up. We're, we're all on the up. Um, bear with me. Just turn that up just a little bit more for you guys. Revert the brain drain. Yeah, we'll go promoting the EU values then. Extra political power. Not that we need it, if... Let's be honest here, chat. Be honest with ourselves, viewers. Turn all of those off. Let us... Not do that. Now, we can. And you know what? I'm going to... I was very hesitant on expanding the laboratories, right? When we hit a trillion GDP because of the debt. But I think for... What is that? 50... Uh, 63 billion in debt. But getting an extra research slot, I'm going to say thank you very much. We're doing it that way. We will go into debt, and then we need to just make ourselves focus on, if I just write this down here, uh, beginning to just pay it off so it goes like sub uh, 200. Decline that um, from investment offer from Turkey. Oops. That was um, pay off debt to sub... Uh, 200 billion. Now, I am, obviously, in the last few episodes, I have been writing things down gradually. Well, that's kind of like because, as you're watching this, I'm obviously aware. I'm stepping away from it just for a week. Um, but the videos are still coming out. So you guys will obviously know where we're up to. Whereas I will have been having a very nice time with family and friends. Um, so my mind's not thinking about this, right? So just having notes from previous episodes when I get back is pretty lovely. 2005 uh, anti-tank guided missiles, boom, automatically making one and a half a day. Lovely stuff. Uh, we are still quite a way away from all of this. But I don't even think we're producing artillery, right? Oh, no, we are. Making one artillery piece a day. Okay. We did get the two Mac 2s as well. But. 2005 small arms. Uh, let's grab those. 157 days. Not going to take too long. Construction's then going to be done. That's going to help all of these. Labots. Is that, is that over here? Yeah, we'll, we'll accept that. Spend a little extra money helping them. Ba, ba, ba. So, Slovakia, back up to 37%. We're up to just shy of 8% in Ukraine. And then we're at over 10% in Lithuania. Construction 4 is done. Lovely stuff. And now... We're, we're, we're looking okay in that regard. Uh, we are still in 2005. Let's get some encryption. Make sure we can defend our data.
air superiority. I don't any I don't see any reason why we shouldn't spend a hundred political power to get extra air XP, considering we're not getting that much. Also, how is our air wing how how are our air wings looking? Not too shabby. Let's get them on exercises then. Just so these guys can be better than greens. If we ever need to deploy them. And you want to invest in Labutz as well and Pomerelium. You see, thing is, I don't see any real negative influence, any reasons why we shouldn't say yes to all these people. They're spending their money, we're spending 10% of that money, and in return, rather than it taking us a while to build our own sieves, they're just naturally going to be built like off the screen, off the construction tab in that same amount of time. So, yeah, I'm I'm happy with it, honestly. We're getting close to that next military factory, which I believe is going to go on to small arms now. Yeah. Lovely. Almost at 10 a day. Which is, it's at cap now, but... Slovakia's in the EU! Can we get some W's in chat for Slovakia? Or W's in the comment section? Or just a big, I don't know, a Slovakia flag? Yeah, boom. No reason why not to. They're now a part of the EU, man. That's, that's pretty dope. We're basically one and the same now. They're making 1.1 billion every week. And they're not investing in anyone. Hmm. Just like the checks. Checks are making 2.6. And they're not investing in anyone. But are they... Ah, so they're stagnant. They're stagnant and making 2.7 billion. Excuse me? That is outrageous. Slovakia is in an economic boom. And they're not investing. Wow. Would love to be them. What's their tax rate? On average, it's 31. So their corporate tax is super low. But then they take half of everyone's money. So they don't take off big corporations, but they take off people. Whereas Slovakia, how do you do it? Oh, they do the same thing. So they, pot, they tax really high pot, but then low corporate tax. That might be the way to go. I think let us decrease it to 15%, but then bob that up to 29%. It does cost a lot of political power to up your tax. Promoting EU values, lovely. Extra political power, which we just used to bump up the tax rate. Mm. 
let us go construction tax cuts for extra construction speed. I I don't think anyone's ever going to say no to construction tax. And yeah, lowering the corporate tax allows us to have more sieves that are working. So we have what? 36 sieves now that, that we're actually using. Auto influence. Lovely. Thank you. And then we'll just continue to take planning speed would be lovely. Uh, let's go planning speed then. Turkey wants to invest in Pomeralia. We're going to decline just because we're in a bit of a deficit. At the memento. <laughs> Again, decline those. You're just going to build two office sectors in the states where we have 45% uh, infrastructure. That way it's not super slow. Yeah, and then let's go decryption. And then that's 2005 tech done. We don't need to look at that tab uh, for the time being. Again, yeah, so we're just taking what, like a hundred, hundred billion debt. And is that because we finally, yeah, finally got that extra research slot. So that's going to have to be it for today's episode, guys. If you did enjoy, drop a like down below. Subscribe if you're new. It is free and you can change your mind at any time. Uh, this series comes out uh, every day, one episode per day, and it comes out at 12 p.m. British Standard Time. So if you're unsure what that is in your time zone, give it a Google, have a look online, uh, and yeah, be sure to stick around for more shenanigans and uh, more awesome source things here in Hearts of Iron. Take care, guys. Bye-bye.